Hey there, smartphone fans. If you have seen my first introduction of the Redmi 6, you know I've been rocking it for over a week now and I am ready to give out my full verdict. So is the Xiaomi 6 series Redmi phone on a revolution? Has Xiaomi really hit the mark again? Keep watching and as always you'll find out. Redmi 6 is a smaller and lighter device than the Redmi 5. It's just 5.5 inches display. It's around 8 millimeters thick. It has a smaller 3000 milliamp hour battery and it's much lighter at around 140 grams. This new device is however powered by a new chip. It's not powered by the Snapdragon 625 but it's powered by a new MediaTek Helio P22 chip which I'll get a bit later on. Uh, the device is an 18 by 9 display, really decent display, very good one hand usage. This is a 5.5 inch phone that feels like more like a 5 inch one thanks to the new 18 by 9 standard and the display is really top quality unlike the Redmi S2 which had like pretty poor viewing angles. This one is really okay, uh, it's sub 4 HD resolution but I don't think you notice that in this uh, smaller display form factor we are seeing here. The colors are very lifelike, uh, saturation is as good as it gets and the blacks are well pretty decent for a sub $160 LCD panel. It's a shame that the sunlight visibility could be a ton higher but I still say this is pretty decent in like the brightest sunny day in like direct sunlight. Still quite quite okay. Uh, it's running uh, Xiaomi's MIUI and it's 9.6 so there's no MIUI 10 yet for this phone but it's coming pretty really soon and it does come with an IR blaster for you to control your electronics and FM radio as well as a bunch of other Xiaomi Chinese apps because there is still no global ROM so you only have to do with English and Chinese languages. Now a bit more about the specs detail, the MIUI 9 is behind a Android 8 1 Oreo uh, setup, the Helio P22 is a octa-core chip, it's a 12 nanometer chip and it comes uh, with uh, power via 8 generation budget graphic chip instead of a Mali 1, the back camera is a 12 megapixel one and the front camera is 5 megapixels and uh, there is the strange exclusion of the gyroscope and there is no 5 GHz Wi-Fi on this device. Uh, seeing the specs, is, I got the 3 GB RAM version because it's very cheap and I don't think anybody really needs more specs in a very budget phone because if you go for the 4 GB RAM version, you're probably getting uh, to the $178 range when there is the Redmi Note 5, which is clearly a much better option here. The Helio P22 can do dual 4G though. Here you see on your left uh, the benchmarks from the Snapdragon 625 and uh, here you see the Helio P22 benchmarks and uh, benchmarks to benchmarks the scores are very comparable. However, if you put them on real testing environments you see what you get. So this is uh, PUBG Mobile on balanced settings and it's winning very poor on the Helio P22. The Helio P22's power via graphics really doesn't like open world games, especially in Real Engine 4 games, uh, even set on low settings, uh, like here the Lineage 2 Revolution, um, doesn't really give good frame rates, I'm talking about poor frame rates. Um, the games are somewhat playable, but really not, not well, so this is not a gaming chip, this is not for the hardcore gamer and still the Snapdragon 625's aging Adreno 506 is a uh, much better graphics chip for gaming and is much better at uh, battery life and efficiency as well. So if you were hoping for the Helio P22 to be a trump card of the Snapdragon 625, it is not. Um, I really don't know why Xiaomi went for the P22 when the Helio P23 I've tested all of the device with uh, this is much better in gaming and is about as good as a power consumption if maybe a little worse. Uh, after gaming the chip didn't get hot, didn't throttle, the phone didn't feel like it was overheating and regarding battery life I did get around 9 full hours of screen on time tops uh, which is a lot less than I would get with the Redmi Note, uh, sorry with the Redmi 5 Plus but this one does have a higher 4000 milliamp hour battery so battery life per battery life I would say the Redmi 5 Plus is still better 
and the charging times were not very good with the Redmi 6 as it takes around 3 hours to fully charge the device. Moving on to cameras, uh, the camera experience on the Redmi 6 is really amazing for a budget device. You get a full blown manual mode, you get a exposure filter mode, but this is just software. Now, picture quality wise, the Redmi 6 will blow you away with its rear camera. In a good daylight shot, you will not notice the difference that you're not using a uh, flagship device from a year, year and a half ago. Even as light comes down a little bit, Redmi 6 still delivers excellent image quality. Um, I would have to say that this is perhaps the best 18 by 9 screen phone as a camera phone, especially if you're looking for a smaller and lighter device right now on the market. This is just $850. Just look at those shots. HDI enabled, you can never tell that. Captures every detail, dynamic range is really good, there's lots of details on the edges and even in low light situations, assuming you hold the phone steady, you'll get a pretty decent and usable shot. This was never possible with a $150 device up to now. Uh, the portrait mode is a bit artificial, but it's still quite good and usable for social medias if you like that. The video quality is 1080p best, does have electronic image stabilization, but is still a bit too shaky for my books still really good quality the sound is okay and there's plenty of details to be had in that video there is a slow motion even with that phone so it's a full-blown camera experience here the slow motion may not be high quality uh, but it's still usable and decent in a budget price range the camera front camera may lack megapixels but it's again Reusable in social media, especially if you use the portrait mode, which makes the photos look much, much better than they actually are. The view quality was okay in the front camera and definitely usable for vlogging if you're not into that much quality. So Redmi 6 is a device that puzzles. It's a decent phone, it has very good cameras, it's light, it has a smaller display, uh, but uh, performance-wise and battery life-wise, it's inferior to any Snapdragon 625 device Xiaomi have. Uh, cameras are really good, but if you just want better cameras, you're probably better off buying the Meizu M6 Note. If you want to buy the Redmi 6, there is a link below the video for you to buy it. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more honest reviews like this.